We're making a show that's accessible to kids, but it's not for kids. Thank you, Rhett. I wanted to open up with this quote that Rhett said on a recent H3 podcast where they were talking about GMM's target audience on YouTube. It was perfect, and I loved it. Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk about the content of my channel because it seems to be a pretty big deal in the comments section lately in my videos. I thought it would be a good idea to address this while my channel is still pretty young before it's too late. I know I have over 250,000 subscribers, but I've only been making videos for about a year now. I think it's good to address a reaction you often get from your content, especially if people are telling me that they feel uncomfortable with what I draw. Only because by making this video, I can now say, I warned you. At this point, most of you are probably thinking, what the heck are you even talking about, Casey? Your content isn't even inappropriate. I agree. Unfortunately, after my teeny weeny challenge got really popular, it seems like my channel was targeted towards children just because I draw cute things. And because I want to become a children's book illustrator, people like to say, Casey, how could you sin like this? You want to be a children's book illustrator, but you're drawing naked people? Shame on you. Just because you want to become a children's book illustrator does not mean you can only draw kid-friendly things. I am a human with a life and hobbies outside of my hopes and dreams. In fact, did you know Dr. Seuss drew naked people? There's even a book. It's adorable. I love them. The creator of Steven Universe has also drawn some non-kid-friendly things, but did that harm either of their careers? No, it did not. Not that I'm even concerned about my career. I guess that's just a comment I often get. Basically, every time I draw a little bit of nudity, there is outrage in the comments, and I know these are comments from younger viewers because, well, because adults don't care about nudity for the most part. I don't think there is anything wrong with a little bit of nudity. You will never see me post anything pornographic on my channel or my social media. It's just not a subject that has ever interested me, but I do like drawing the naked body and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I've already made a video talking about how there is nothing wrong with nudity and that it shouldn't automatically be considered sexual or inappropriate. I'll link it in the card here. Unfortunately, YouTube has age restricted this. Don't know why, but thanks YouTube. So I'm not going to sit here and talk about how nudity is fine and everyone needs to chill out. So feel free to watch that video and let's continue talking about how I draw porn on my videos. <laughs> sure is going to be a laugh when YouTube age restricts this video also. I can always depend on YouTube. I guess the main point of this video is that I just wanted to ramble on about what sort of content I make just to clarify that for those of you who leave me comments like, why is there nudity? I thought this was a family friendly channel because it's, it's just not. I have been drawing nudity on my YouTube channel for a long time now. It's nothing new, but like I said, with the burst of new followers that haven't seen all of my content, they must have just not seen everything and they just don't, they don't know what I do. The first time I posted nudity on my channel was on May 4th of last year, and I started to make videos in February of last year. That's only like a three month gap. It was prompt number four in the 500 drawing prompt series, so it was pretty early on and I made it pretty clear that I'm going to draw what I want. I drew nudity and then soon after that I drew some gory bloody stuff. I've never said this channel was family friendly and I will continue to draw what I want. I think especially as an artist it's important to get used to nudity because nudity has been found in art for hundreds of years. Probably thousands. Okay, let's be real, nudity in art has been around since the beginning of mankind. And I can tell you right now, it's not going to stop. It's important to study the human body, and I find that even a bra can mess it up because then you don't know how boobs work, which I think is a struggle for a lot of people. Gravity works even on the boobs, people. They don't just levitate there. So I think it's important to study the body without any sort of clothes because that can, that can actually mess up your interpretation on how the body works. So back to the ret quote, we're making a show that's accessible to kids, but it's not for kids, which as I said, perfectly describes my channel. I don't want to make my YouTube channel content for children and families because then as an artist, I am limited to what I can do and I don't want that. I want to have complete and total artistic freedom with my prompts and my mind when I create art. And if I have to constantly think about what is going to make someone uncomfortable, then I'm censoring myself and as an artist or a person, I don't like that. I think my content is, for the most part, accessible to kids. I don't think there's anything wrong with a butt or a human body at all, but apparently some people do. And yes, I am aware of the puns now. <laughs> I understand how some people have it in their mind that anything nude means sex, and of course sex is evil, but I do think that is a wrong and horrible way to think about 
that sort of thing. I do talk about this a little bit more in the nudity video, but Western culture seems to be the most afraid of nudity, which I think is ridiculous. Why are people so afraid of their bodies? I don't ding dang get it. Oh, speaking of ding dang and dingle dangles, let's talk about dog weenies, shall we? I haven't drawn that many dogs in the illustrations on my channel, but I am sort of surprised it took until the sketchbook slam challenge for dog weenies to make an appearance. I have been including animal genitals into my illustrations for years now, and I'm aware of how weird that sounds. I don't think it's weird. In fact, I just think of it as an extra little detail that's silly. I mean, I get it. I understand how people have been brainwashed to feel afraid of naked bodies and sex, but a dog weenie? Are you sexualizing that dog? That's illegal. Shame on you. I really just don't get it. It's just a weenie. You go outside of your house and you're walking on the sidewalk. The chance of you passing a male dog is so high. It's so high. Does that also disturb you? Passing a male dog on the street and you see his little dangle there? Does that, do you go into like an embarrassing rage on the, on the dog owner? No, you, you probably don't. Then why should a drawing of one be so disturbing to you? It's not even graphic. In fact, it's so simplified and I kind of find it cute. I'll admit it even really irritated me when people were like, how come you only draw male dogs? And I went back and counted in the sketchbook slam challenge. It was exactly 50-50 with dog wieners and non-dog wieners. Am I going to name this video the dog penis rant? I hope not. I don't know. I just, I don't get it. I mean, I do. Most of my audience is pretty young, but geez guys, come on. It's one of those things where we have Western culture to blame once again. You know how many buttholes and weenies I've seen in my Japanese anime? So many. I think it's silly. That's it, really. So to conclude this rambling, ranty video, my channel is not aimed for children, but I also don't think the content is inappropriate and find it quite accessible to a younger audience. I also don't curse on my channel, which I forgot to mention, simply because I want to keep it somewhat professional. I curse a lot in the real world, but I am presenting myself as a professional. This is my job. So I do feel like throwing curse words around not only immediately cuts down your audience, but it just becomes kind of a little trashy to me. So I just like to keep things clean for the most part until I put butts and weenies everywhere. Okay, so that's it. Hopefully I didn't forget any points. Expect lots of butts, weenies, boobs, and blood in the future. Oh wait, I didn't even talk about blood. Don't you just find it weird how people think violence and murder is okay, but as soon as you show a boob, it's the end of the world? Ah, okay, you know what? I'm over it. No one cares when I draw blood, but OMG, don't even think about a dog weenie. Okay, rant over. I'm just going to get angry. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Really quick, I just wanted to say that I did open up a red bubble today, so if you are wanting prints or anything else like that, you can now get them in my red bubble shop instead of my store envy shop. The link is in the description. Okay. That's it. Bye.